When I was a kid, they would fly overhead, doing things that weren't possible. That's what folks said. Deflecting bullets, punching out trains, lifting stuff using just the power of their brains. Every time that I'd see them, I wanted to be them. And I dream each night about all the things I do. What if I were a superhero with a cape and a mask? Give me some kind of powers and give me a task. So I'm going to change out this European plug. And a couple of interesting things with this process for this particular welder. I bought this uh, Cooper wiring devices. It's a uh, model S42. This is a 50 amp, 200 and vo 250 volt plug in. Way overkill for this little machine. But most welders that are 240 volt come with a plug of this out this layout. <laughs> so the first thing I want to do and uh, is test and see if this is grounded on the inside, which I've been trying to do with my voltmeter. I just put it on continuity, and then if I have a connection, you can hear that beep. So I did check what I believe is the negative ground on this plug with the outside of the case. Oh good. And it is grounded. Which is good because there's three wires involved in a 240, uh, 240 volt plug. Two hot wires and a ground. So I'll have three plugs, which is the three plugs that you see sticking out of this. This is a universal type plug. It can be used for several different things. But look at the, when I bought this, I bought it on Amazon. I think it was eleven and a half dollars No, no, it was seven and a half dollars um, And again, you got to shop around because they, they'll go clear up to 13 15 20 bucks So seven and a half dollars I believe, is what I paid for this one. Um, <laughs> the size of the plug in relationship to the welder it's kind of ridiculous but that's what I'm going to go with and it's good to, to know that I have three wires in this cord so that this will be grounded there's a lot of these uh, Chinese inverter stick welders that are not grounded and I don't believe that I mean you just you want to get one that's grounded if you can that's one of the tests Xanadu did on his web or on his uh, video of this ZX7 200 Juba where showing that it actually is grounded inside which is which is good this is by the way an IGBT inverter welding machine so I'm gonna cut this plug end off of here now that I know it has a ground wire in it. That's what I was hoping for. Three wires. So we got a blue, a brown, and a green slash yellow. I'm assuming that the green slash yellow is the ground, but we'll find out right now with the uh, meter. Put that back on the continuity tester. Hold it on the green. And then we'll touch the other side to the case. Okay, so the green is the ground. And then the other two wires are going to be both 110 each hot wires uh, coming from the outlet. So I just need to make sure I get the, they're interchangeable. It doesn't matter which one you put that on. So the three contacts in this plug, one 
hot goes to one uh, blade, the other hot goes to the other blade, and the ground goes to this U-shaped blade on the top here. So I just need to remember that when I wire it up. All right, let's do that. Fourteen gauge, it looks like it might be twelve gauge, either twelve or fourteen. Looks like it's probably fourteen, pretty small for twelve gauge. If I roll that back, that back like that, use that as extra because this wire is so thin. And use this little piece over the top of that. Hopefully, that'll give me enough thickness to where this clamp actually will actually tighten down on it. I mean, it's definitely going to work. It's just extreme overkill. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, let me get these tucked up in here and hooked up, and then I'll show that to you. that's what what it looks like so despite the small cord size small diameter of the cord I was able to get that locked in there nice and tight so that that stress relief actually I'm pulling on that pretty darn hard actually does what it's supposed to do okay That'll work. So now I've got the proper plug end on here. Let's do one last test here with the meter. The only one that matters is to make sure that I have the actual ground on the proper one. So let's do another check here. Make sure that that is correct. All right, so this top one is the ground. Okay, and then these two powers are separate, so there should be nothing there. And there should be nothing between either one of these. Okay. That's what we want. Okay, so the the welder is wired up. I've got a plug on it. Look at the size difference. Talk about overkill, but that's fine. It'll work. And then uh, I've got my cord made up. That came out real nice. And I got my mini dins so I can plug into my welder. All right, next video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to hook this up to 220 volts. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you, do, if you haven't already. And if you like the videos, give me a thumbs up. We'll see you on the next video.